Good morning, Chad, as well. Last week's price action really hammered home the, the narrative that markets are still dancing to the tune of the Fed with a, a broad rally in equities and a fall in yields and the US dollar really being kick-started by that cooler than expected CPI figure and, and accelerated during the week with uh, some more weaker economic figures out of the US. Um, looking for a bit of a quieter week this week. It's a holiday short week thanks to Thanksgiving and uh, some of the data being released not quite as market moving you think as the last couple of weeks but there still are some important ones to watch for and also some charts that I'll be watching this week uh, starting with the Aussie dollar and the Aussie dollar had a, a big week last week uh, as falling US yields dragged down that US dollar um, big turnaround looked like it was going to be testing the lower band of that range at 63 turned around and ended up at the end of the week, testing the top of the band at 65, where the major resistance is there. Uh, range traders will be watching that level, that key level 65. Um, if we get a hold there, we could see the Aussie drift back down to that mean of the range around 64. Um, if you're a breakout trader, you'd be watching a break and a hold of that level of support. Um, maybe thinking the Aussie dollar can retake that range that was uh, between 65 and 69 that it traded between March and August. Um, data points to watch out for Aussie dollar traders is uh, RBA Governor Bullock speaking on Tuesday and Wednesday, also the RBA minutes on Tuesday. Um, gold, another one I'll be watching that had a, a big week last week as uh, the US dollar weakened as, uh, and the yields came down. Now, gold benefits from dropping yields um, as a haven flow because there's, there's less competition from it's uh, from bonds, uh, gold being non-yielding. So uh, we did find really strong support there at the 200-day moving average early in the week. Uh, it's also lined up with that 38.2 FIB level, which is when you measure it from the October low to highs. Uh, pushed higher all week. Key levels to watch this uh, this week will be the November high at 2004, which could act as resistance to the upside, uh, and that 23.6 FIB level to the downside at 1962, where we did see a bit of chop during the week. Um, another one to watch is the Dow Jones. Now, the Dow also rallied strongly during the week. Um, breakout uh, driven by the market participants really pricing in the end of the Federal Reserve rate hiking cycle. Um, WS30 like gold also found support there at the 200 day moving average early in the week, rallied strongly, breaking that upper trend line uh, and pushing close to those September highs before finding some resistance. So that level there at 35,100, key level to watch to see how strong this upward momentum is. Um, if we get a hold there, could see a retracement uh, of that recent um, pretty uh, sharp rally in the last week. Uh, support to the downside looking, I reckon, around that 34,261. Um, more dovish data and no surprises from the FOC minutes. And we could really see a, a another push higher in the Dow and really test those August highs at 35678.